Hey Maxiva fans, welcome to this tutorial video on how to set up your CVC Flex, the new contour expander from Maxiwa. Straight out the box, you'll have three clamps that you can mount anywhere with screws, two mounting clamps with screws that go to the table that's also a accessory to this Maxiwa Flex Edge Bender, and the support to the edge bender itself. Now, the first thing you want to do to set up your Maxiwa Flex Edge Bender is you're going to want to take this support table, mount it, line it up with the holes, and screw it in. After having assembled your CVC Flex, Let's talk a little bit about the style of glue and edge bending tape that you can use with this machine. In this case, you'll be using any kind of PVC, ABS, wood, or paper style edge bending tape. But make sure you don't use edge bending tape that has been pre-glued. Now in the case of the glue, you want to use a granular style or pellet style glue that has an application temperature between 130 to 180 degrees Celsius. Now let's talk a little bit more about some adjustments that you can make to the machine. In this case, for example, the glue pot in here can be opened by turning this knob and pulling this out. The machine comes with half a pound of glue already pre-installed in the machine. Then you have an on button to turn on the machine, a temperature control, and a speed control. The CBC Flex comes with a standard 110 volt plug. Once you plug it in, you can turn on the machine. Once you plug in your machine, you'll notice that in the back, there's a switch. Once you flip that on, the controller will automatically turn on and the machine will start to heat up. You'll notice that there's two numbers on this uh, controller. The bottom symbolizes the temperature that the machine is set at and the top is the number that the machine is actually at. Now. In order to change the temperature, depending on the glue that you're using, you'll need to use these arrows at the bottom. So now, we're going to change the temperature from 130 to 170. We're going to want to go to this left arrow, click on it, and the number starts blinking. Click on it again, the second number starts blinking. Then we're going to go up to 140, 50, 60, 70, and then we're going to push set. Now the machine will heat up until 170 degrees. As you'll notice, the machine is not yet at temperature. It's going to rise up to 170, but this will take about 20 minutes. Now let's talk about some adjustments to the CBC Flex. In this case, we have three adjustments. First, let's start off with the feeder switch. Once you turn it on, the blue roller will start to spin. Depending on the adjustment that you do to the feeder switch, it will increase or decrease the speed. You can shut it off and turn it back on as needed. Then we have the glue adjustment. Right turn adds more glue to the left is less glue. In this case we have a third adjustment for the tape. Now here we have tape guides. I have a pre-cut piece of edge banding tape. Depending on the height of the surface that you're using, you might want to slide your piece of edge banding tape through the bottom slot. Then apply a little bit of pressure by turning this knob at the top, allowing the tape to slide freely. If you need to, you can also slide the piece of edge banding tape through the top and adjust as needed. Let's talk about a few accessories that come with the Maxiwa CBC Flex. In this case, we have the support table, which comes with a few components. It has a guide, edge banding support, and a knife. And the table. Now let's put this together. Once you take the table out of the box, what you're going to want to do is adjust the legs. Putting them out like that, and then adjusting the knobs on the sides. After, you're going to want to install the 
white rollers. I have one right here. The tab part faces forward, and then you do a half a turn. And now they're all set. You'll notice that on all four sides of the table, on each leg there is a bracket. That bracket is so you can adjust uh, and fix this table to whatever surface you need to. In this case, we might use screws when working on a wooden table. Now, in order to continue the process of attaching the CVC Flex to the table, we're going to need to use these brackets. So what we want to do is loosen the bolts that come in there. Before mounting the brackets on and mounting the flex to the support table, you're going to want to take off this front support. Then you can go ahead and mount the brackets. Now we're going to put the brackets on the CBC flex. So you grab one of your brackets, make sure that it's facing up like this. And it goes in just like that. Then you put in your screws and you do the same thing to the other side. Like this, it slides right in. Put in your screws and with your Phillips head tight. After you've adjusted the brackets and make sure that they're on tight to the CBC Flex, you're going to want to come and line up the machine with the holes that are provided in the table. Then, use the four screws that come in the box to fasten the machine to the table. Next, we're gonna wanna install the cutting knife. You're gonna wanna align this Allen bolt with the big hole on the table. Once you align it, push down, and you're gonna wanna use the knob that's the longest and thickest. Mount that on there and tighten until it's secure. Next, we're going to use the tape support and these two longer knobs to install on the left side of the machine, like so. and tighten. Next, we're going to want to grab the guide along with the two shorter knobs and install it in front of the tape support, like so. Before completely tightening the guide, we're going to want to line up the guide with the roller by pressing the roller against the woodworking piece and then pushing the tape guide forward to meet the woodworking piece and tighten. Now you're all set. Next you're going to want to measure out and cut a piece of edge banding tape that will be applied to the woodworking piece. For example, our piece is pre-cut and we will apply it here as such. Then you're going to want to make the adjustments on the machine. For example, in this case, since we're going to be running it freehand, we need to slide the piece on the top of the edge bender. Unlike most edge bending machines, the CBC Flex is a hot melt machine. Therefore, the glue is heated up in the glue pot before being applied to the woodworking piece. Most machines use water or air. The CVC Flex also has a recycling system that dumps unused glue back into the glue pot so it may be reused on other jobs. When applying a piece of edge banding tape to the woodworking piece, make sure that the front support of the CVC Flex is firmly on the woodworking piece and you apply firm pressure on both rollers. When you're ready to use your support table with your CBC Flex, you can always run 
a roll of edge bending tape through the tape guide at the bottom. Always make sure that the machine is properly supported on whatever surface you're working on, especially when you're working with the accessory table. Make sure that every side is properly supported. Thank you for watching this video on a tutorial on how to set up and use your CBC Flex. Hopefully this video was helpful and answered any questions you might have had.